All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makhnaqwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this is an article that I found today. All right, concerning this, uh, what is it? Um, it says unparalleled warmth is changing the Arctic and affecting weather in U.S. Uh, comma Europe. Okay, and um, if you notice, like this, this, this days when the, it'll be it'll be nice out you know here it is we in december you know it'll be nice out uh or sometimes it'll be a crazy crazy snowstorm you know and the weather is just it's inconsistent and it's constantly changing you know what i mean and it's weird okay why because hey the earth the earth number one itself is sick okay the earth is constantly being polluted all right and destroyed all right by these edomites the so-called uh white race or the caucasians okay they're constantly and starting with their elites all right, they're polluting the earth, not only with wickedness and wicked vibrations, but physically also. All right, killing the animals, dumping waste in the ocean, all these oil spills and all these different things that, that you know, what I mean, these concrete jungles they've built, you know, it's all polluting the earth. OK, and the earth is sick. That's why things aren't aren't normal. OK, that's why the weather's getting messed up. All right, so I'm going to read a little bit of this article. It says, um. It's the, the, Ar the Arctic is experiencing a multi-year stretch of unparalleled warmth that is unlike any period on record. According to the 2018 Arctic Report Card, a peer-reviewed report released Tuesday morning from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, an agency within the United States Department of Commerce, the report states that human-caused climate change is transforming the Arctic both physically through the reduction of sea ice and biologically through reduction in wildlife populations and introduction of marine toxins and algae see and really who's doing this man who's doing this this is um um esau man let me uh get a couple precepts which you know we're all familiar with this job 9 and 24 see the earth is given into the hand of the wicked all right who is that wicked you read malachi the first chapter i believe all right it tells you that that it is um um uh, esau are these Edomites, they are the border of wickedness. So right now, who's ruling right now? The so-called white man. All right? These Edomites, they're ruling. The earth has been given into their hand. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? And that's how he deceived the masses of the people. But the, being that the earth is given into his hand, these are the kind of wickedness that they do, man. What is it? Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bets. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of of their hands or of their hand see and 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 the iniquity that they're devising is ultimately what it's it's is leading to the destruction of the earth all right notice notice how it says both um it says the report states that human caused climate change human caused climate change is changing is transforming the arctic you know because they're, they're they're using their heart machines and spraying these chemtrails in the air and all these different things you know experimenting with things that they know not Okay, and it's affecting the earth. All right, it's destroying the earth. Look at this, the race to save the Great Barrier Reef. Look at that. Something that used to be so beautiful, boom, destroyed. All right, so let me let me get a couple of precepts. Um, this is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, all right, and to the saints, the saints who are who? Israelites, all right, pursuant to Psalms, I believe, 50 and 5, all right, it tells you who the saints are. It says, and them that fear thy name, who are once again Israelites, because the scriptures tell you that the name of the Lord is dreadful amongst the heathen. So the heathen, all right, they, they, of, of, of course, you know, they call them al-Alashah, their demon-like power, but the, 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 the true Fear and worship of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai can only be done by Israelites, starting with the elect, small and great, and should has destroyed them, which destroyed the earth. And once again, who are those? The Edomites. They're destroying the earth. All right. This this whole um um human caused climate change is caused by who? E Esau. These elites. They're the ones in power. When, man, we we don't have the technology and the, and the power to be causing no climate change. Man, they're the ones. Uh, behind it all, man, tempering and experimenting, and 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 trying to trying to play the role of, of God, okay. And that's why it says the Most High is going to destroy them, which destroyed the earth. The earth was made to be a paradise, Idan, okay. 
It's supposed to be a paradise, man. Not 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 uh, 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 messed up. Okay, and this is the Lord's creation, man. So of course he's gonna be upset. So this is um Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that's what these Edomites are. When you go into the word perdition, let's pull it up. All right, it says what? Destroying, utter destruction of vessels, perishing, ruin, destruction of money, the destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell. All right, so destruction, man, the son of the son of perdition, the son of destruction. Why? Because anything that Esau puts his hand to, ultimately he destroys. Okay, he destroys it, man. He know he does not know how to rule. He's anti-life. Okay, and that's why all these things are happening on the earth because Esau is in rulership. Okay, um, this is Daniel chapter uh, seven, verse twenty-five, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High, which he's doing now. Okay, you have it to to the point where Jacob just they beat down, they 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 lost hope. You know they've been worn out. Okay, because of all this oppression, man, constantly doing nine to fives and paying bills and all these different uh uh, uh, uh wicked wicked uh um uh, uh laws that they've been they've prescribed and all this, it's wearing out the saints. All right, and think to change times and laws. See. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of time. Change, uh, things to change uh, time time and laws. What? What is he doing now? You know? Thinking that he can play the role of the most high, changing the temperature. All right? The whole daylight saving stuff. The whole uh, 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 um, 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 twisting up the, 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 the laws and the scriptures and, and going anti it. Going against the scriptures and making laws that, that, that uh, go against the scriptures. Okay, that's all Esau doing that. Okay. Um, see, I think that was it for the precepts I had. So I'll just finish this article real quick. It says, um, the report is yet another study from part of the U.S. government indicating that climate change is real and having, and, and having a profound impact despite denials from the president and senior members of his administration. Temperatures in the Arctic are warming more than twice as fast as the overall planet's average temperature. With temperatures this year in the highest latitudes above 60 degrees north, coming in 1.7 degrees Celsius, which is 31 degrees Fahrenheit, above the 1981 to 2010 average. These were the second warmest behind 2016 air temperatures ever recorded during the Arctic year, which runs from October through September to avoid splitting the winter season. All right, this is not good. But this is happening because, once again, Esau is ruling. And this shows you that Yahweh is about to send Yahweh Shai back very, very soon. Because if not, no flesh will be saved. All right? And and these Edomites know this, man. That's why they, they're pushing, trying to go out of space and, and make it and make other planets and uh, inhab inhabitable and all of that stuff. But the scriptures say the earth abides forever. And in order for it to happen, this, this uh, the Esau needs to be uh, taken out of power. And that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. The five years since 2014 have been warmer than any other years in the historical record, which goes back to, 19, to 1900s, although Arctic temperatures have been subject to wild swings back and forth through the decades due to natural variability, they have, they have been consistently warmer than average since 2000, and at or near record since 2014, the report states, the changes we are witnessing in the Arctic are sufficiently rapid that they cannot be explained without considering our impacts on the chemistry of the atmosphere. See? So, <laughs> who's to blame here? Says uh, Thomas Moat, uh, a research scientist at the University of Georgia who authored part of the report, told CNN in an email. Moat expressed an uh Express than any uh, natural cycle or mechanism that would lead to the amount of warming and ice loss that has been observed would take much longer than the few years over which over which we have seen these drastic changes. All right. And then, you know, it goes in more and more, which I'm not going to read the whole thing. All right. But that's just the point right there, man. OK, you have the earth suffering because of because of Esau, man. And that's why the Most High is going to bring this devil down. OK. But it's just another update, man. Things are happening on the earth. These are these are part of the signs in the earth and then the signs in the heavens and all that. 
that Yahushai prophesied of. Okay, you hear about the wars and rumors of wars. All these things are happening. Okay, now in that microchip, that RFID chip, man, that mark of the beast, it's about to be pushed on a, on a high scale. All right, and that hour of temptation, man, you can you gonna understand why it's called the hour of temptation. Okay. But low will end this video is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Inshallah.